Me again, so third bid for the first lesson. Quite chatty this one, sorry. Um, right, so it talks about uh, comparing them with the mean and standard deviation. So if I'm comparing the mean, I want to mention things like on average. If I'm comparing the standard deviation, then I want to, now you could talk about the spread or the variability, but I like to use the word consistency. So if a standard deviation is smaller, it's more consistent or less consistent. So I want to do that, but I'll put down all of them. So to look at spread, variability, but consistency, consistent, oh, can't spell it. Is what I want to talk about really. The data is more consistent or less consistent. So it says here data below shows the number of goals scored in team A, find the mean and the standard deviation. Right then, let's have a look. Uh, give me a second, I'm going to put, so you're going to put. List one, you're going to put the number of goals in. List two, you're going to put the number of matches in. So I'll pause it while you put it in the calculator. Hello. Right, and so my values give me 2.84, the average, so part A. X bar is 2.84, and sigma. Is 1.96. So this is for team A, I think, isn't it? So this is for team A. There. So team B have a mean of three. So on average, team B score more goals because their average is higher. So on average, team B scored more goals. Now you've got to remember, it's got to make sense. If this was like, there was, a, there was an exam question and it was about the times for a 100 metre sprints and the woman, had, she'd been doing it for ages and got these times but then she changed whatever it was she was doing and then her times had gone down so she was better but people misread it and said, oh yeah, no, that's worse because the time has gone down. Surely a time's better if she's running. So make sure it makes sense for the, for the, the cons, uh, I've forgotten the word now, the, um, for what the data set as. Um, right, so on average, team B scored more goals than team A. As its mean was high. Now that's got a standard deviation of 4.5. That's massively variable. So team A is more consistent is more consistent at scoring goals on team B. Because the standard deviation is lower. Now it has to be written in context. Context was a word I was trying to get. I'm tired and I kept saying content. Uh, standard deviation is lower. There. Right then, let's have a look. Keep going down. So I've got this one here now. Uh, which is a U try. So this is taken from the, the, um, from the Caboodle, and it's a question that relates to your large data set. So you've got a large data set all to do with cars and emissions and stuff like that. So you want to get your midpoints, and you want to put them in list one, and then put your frequencies in list two. 
and then answer all the questions and see if you get this. You should get more of an appreciation for the large data set. More Oops. I want to see some boxes everywhere. More boxes with that one that's appeared. Okay. Let's have a look on the next page. Oh, brilliant. Consolidation. That means we've finished. So that's that first lesson done. Well done, everybody.